Hey there, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to discuss the United States Merchant Marine Academy. Uh, I received a question about a month or so ago. Uh, should I apply to ROTC if all I want to do is go to the Merchant Marine Academy and work in the maritime industry? Well, I'm gonna give you the short answer to that. And the short answer is no, you should not apply to ROTC if your goal is to go to the Merchant Marine Academy and to sail aboard commercial ships in the United States fleet. Uh, it is not necessary. Um, it is not uh, um, conducive to, to that. It will not help your odds of getting into the Merchant Marine Academy. However, with that said, I want to remind you uh, that midshipmen at the United States Merchant Marine Academy are also uh, naval midshipmen, uh, quote unquote naval reserve midshipmen, and upon graduation they will become strategic sea lift officers, United States Navy, and they have an obligation to serve uh, in the Navy um, in an inactive status, but they do have to um, uh, do you know, certain things during the year to fulfill their naval commitment. Hey, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Just take a moment to subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Subscribe. Uh, however, let's, uh, let's hit the main point of this uh, video. Uh, for those of you applying to the Merchant Marine Academy, and for those of you who will be going to congressional nomination interviews for the United States Merchant Marine Academy, you will have a challenge. Um, hopefully, you will have a, a graduate of the Merchant Marine Academy or someone who is familiar with the Merchant Marine Academy uh, on your interview panel. However, if you don't, uh, you have to be prepared. Uh, because a lot of people are not familiar with the Merchant Marine Academy, are not familiar with its mission, and do not understand that the mission of the Academy is to provide Merchant Marine officers, which essentially is a commercial uh, operation. You are a civilian working on a commercial vessel. Uh, so when you go for your interview, you will have people uh, who are Naval Academy grads, West Point grads, uh, former military uh, people, and they just do not understand. Uh, so I strongly encourage you uh, to make up a one-pager about the mission of the Merchant Marine Academy, the obligation of the Merchant Marine Academy, and uh, use some of the source material from the Merchant Marine Academy uh, in that interview. And hopefully that will deflect uh, some of the questions. Uh, I actually sat in on an interview for a Merchant Marine Academy candidate. Um, I was very familiar with the Merchant Marine Academy at the time, uh, fortunately for that person. Uh, however, that person was grilled extensively. Why don't you want to go into the Navy? Why don't you want to go on active? Of duty. Uh, they never heard of such a thing where, where you can go uh, and upon graduation you can work on a commercial ship uh, where you can join a union, uh, you can sail for six months a year and you can make uh, you know close to $150,000, $180,000 for six months work. It's just unheard of and they just don't understand it. However, also be prepared to explain to them that it really is not a free ride, um, that the United States uh, Merchant Fleet needs quality qualified officers, uh, that the Merchant Marine Academy is one of the sources for those qualified officers, and that you are an obligated mariner. Uh, so in time of conflict, you can be called upon to man merchant ships. Now I know that many of you are probably not familiar with what happened during the Gulf War, um, you know, way back when, and it is ancient history now. Uh, but. Uh, there were uh, oil tankers that uh, had to go through the Strait of Hormuz. And Merchant Marine Academy graduates were called up to service to sail in a commercial capacity, civilian capacity to bring those ships through. Um, you know, those things happen. Um, so be prepared, be prepared to answer the questions, and also be prepared to explain to them that the Merchant Marine Academy is a source of, uh, of commercial fleet officers. Now, uh, let me hit one more point here for you. If your goal is just to sail commercially and to work in the maritime industry, there are other paths to that other than the Merchant Marine Academy. Uh, although I always think that a Federal Service Academy is the best route, um, there are also other schools uh, that can help you get to that goal, uh, and they're very good schools. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is a State University in New York Maritime College, uh, known as Fort Schuyler. Uh, that is actually right across the river from the Merchant Marine Academy. Uh, the next school that comes to 
mind uh, right up the coast is Mass Massachusetts Maritime Academy in Buzzards Bay, Massachusetts. Then there's Maine Maritime Academy in Castine, Maine, uh, an excellent school. Then there's also Texas A&M uh, Maritime, which is part of the Texas A&M uh, University System. And uh, finally, uh, there is the California Maritime Academy out there on the West Coast, uh, another fine school. Um, there's also Great Lakes Maritime. Uh, Great Lakes uh, actually just trains people specifically to sail up on the Great Lakes. Um, that's a whole different uh, world up there, but there's that school also. So you have Fort Schuyler, Maine Maritime, Mass Maritime, Texas A&M, Cal Maritime, and Great Lakes, in addition to the Merchant Marine Academy. So for those of you who are interested in Merchant Marine Academy, once again, be prepared for the interview. It will not be easy. Uh, if you like, you can email me below and, uh, or ask a question below and I'll follow up on it. Uh, but have a one pager prepared um, and be prepared to answer those questions. Uh, so good luck to you. I hope we get, you get what you want. And uh, for those of you who are going to the Merchant Marine, um, enjoy the ride. Bye now.